I don't know if you followed Anya on Instagram or you've seen her posts on Connect, but one thing that she and I share in common is a love of street art. And there's so much of it around the planet and it's just really, really cool. So I thought I'd invite Anya along to talk about street art, how she photographs it and how she finds it. So I'm going to mute now and over to you. And if you want to start doing your presentation, if it doesn't work, then I'll present it from here because I've got it up. Great. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you. And it's a pleasure for me that the poll gives me the opportunity to show you my um, passion, I guess. Let's try to check if it works. Uh, mm -hmm. OK. Yeah, is it OK? Hey. Uh, let's try. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? Oh, great. Because yes. if I have a presentation on, I can't see you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> for that. Uh, like uh, Paul said, I'm really into street art uh, lately. And uh, I'm glad that not only me likes this kind of um, art. Of course, street art is a white, um, white thing. It's not um, about only about murals, but um, as well as uh, it covers sculpture, uh, graffiti, etc. But today I would like to focus only on um, murals. And uh, the first thing I would like to share with you is how do I find murals? And uh, it's mostly with the help of Google search, Google Maps, Instagram, friends, and luck. What uh, luck <laughs> is that I'm just walking around and uh, the murals surprise me from time to time. Uh, and I find them in the places I have never expect uh that uh, someone would like to uh, leave uh an art like this there so that's what i mean um when i wrote down the luck and uh, the friends are uh, when they know that i'm in love with murals uh, they send me from time to time uh, their findings of course i don't use their photos on google maps or uh, neither on instagram but it's great that I know, for example, that I should go to Warsaw to find some interesting uh, paintings there. Uh, I'm sure you are quite familiar with uh, Instagram, but uh, I would like to tell you how I am looking for great murals. And it's uh, mostly by Instagram. And you can, of course, search by topic and i wrote down just um, examples how many posts you can find under hashtag street art hashtag mural or hashtag graffiti but uh, for the particular place for example in warsaw you can use hashtag warsaw street art and if you are going to visit the capital city of poland you will find uh, murals under this topic so you can check them first in, on the internet and then just uh, find them personally in the city. So the hashtags are the best uh, way on Instagram to look for um, paintings like that. Other thing, yes? Do you know, I'd never even thought of using hashtags to search for murals like that. That's clever. Never? Oh, come on. <laughs> 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 and uh, this... Um, a uh, type of search is by artist on Instagram. And you can, of course, use the um, ad and the name of the artist, but it's tricky. From time to time, the artist um, has a different name uh, on social media. The reasons are, of course, uh, 
different. Sometimes the the name is um, is already occupied by someone else, uh, using uh, is used by someone else, but. Um, the long, the longer you search, the <laughs> the best the results you can get. And uh, this guy, I have no idea how to pronounce uh, his name, Odite or Dates, uh, but um, you can search for the artist uh, like at Odate or hashtag as well. And it's not that um, uh, hard to find him. Uh, I choose this guy because he is uh, painting uh, 3D realistic uh, murals or street art. And uh, you can see on the right side how the wall was looking before his work below and the uh, photo um, um, up the higher, yes, it was the first photo, let's say, uh, it shows you how the wall looked after his great work it looks like a real ruined bus yeah you sent me the the link to this guy a few days ago and um i spent a bit of time having a look through his stuff it's really amazing yeah especially he um, paints um animals as well like birds you can see them on this uh, um, screenshot on the left uh, birds, I think the snakes, uh, bugs, <laughs> etc. But yeah, I really admire uh, his work. It's great. And you know the the first person who sent uh, them who sent sorry us the um, profile of this guy was Isaac via our Telegram uh, channel. <laughs> so that's how I find out um, his work. And uh, uh, the mm, the thing that uh, I'm going to many places to take photo of uh, street art, it's called street art hunt. And uh, like I told you before, I uh, search via Instagram, more or less, uh, to find uh, interesting places to go to take photos of murals. And uh, from time to time, I have no idea where the particular mural is located. So there is uh, two uh, ways to find it. One is um, to use Google Lens. I take screenshot from the internet. For example, I'm going through Instagram or website and uh, I take screenshot and then I use, uh, I mark it with an arrow, I use Google Lens to get to know more about the particular art. And on the right, you can see the screenshot of the results, which Google Lens gives me. Sometimes I'm just walking around and I take a photo of a mural and I have no idea who the artist is, and I do the same. I use Google Lens to um, get more info. Yeah, do you want to say something, Paul? Nope, all right. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you are familiar with Google Lens, but uh, if you, you don't have it like I do in my Pixel phone, uh, in a gallery app, you can uh, download the Google Lens as a separate app. And I use it also, for example, when I'm taking the photos of uh, flowers and I have no idea what the name of the flower is, I use Google Lens. So it's very, very helpful for me. Yep. I don't know if you can see the chat, Anya, but people love your photos. No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> so <if you> have, <laughs> oh, oh, I really appreciate it. So if you have any question, just, uh, Paul, you can... Uh, read it for me okay because now i my full screen is only my presentation and i can't see what you are um, talking about on the chat and um i will certainly do that um falguni yeah. said that now she knows how you find your murals <laughs> she said oh. that was pretty good <laughs> and uh also she said that in india that they have street art of old bollywood actors um, i oh. did 
I did recently go to a, a session put on by um, Raju, who's in this chat. So you should have a chat with him later because he actually makes this stuff. Oh, that's great. Like Kasun and Ravindu in Sri Lanka. Yeah, they, they, they like artists, not like me, just a photographer <laughs> of the street. Well, a photographer is still an artist. Uh, yeah, in my um, example, uh, yeah, a kind of, <laughs> just, <you> know, <laughs> like an amateur. Um, I decided to make the murals and street art more popular. So uh, besides, I take billions of photos <laughs> of murals. Uh, I try to add these murals to Google Maps. And this is an example of a mural from Warsaw. It's about um, upspring in Warsaw against, um, I guess, then German occupation. But uh, I'm showing uh, this one for you because um, if, yeah, okay, you can use Google Lens to find um, the name of the artist like I do from time to time. But if you are at the exact place um, with the mural and you can get close enough to the wall for example um, there is a chance you can find the name of the artist it's usually a signature like that so it's um, helpful you can find then more murals of the artist you like and to follow him by uh, on instagram for example yeah that's it's, really cool yeah it's months for <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> And um, it's about um, my preparation for street art hunt. Uh, I uh, make a list on Google Maps in this particular case. Uh, you can, I'm sure, find a list of other people who do the same. So you can use their uh, ideas. But this is mine, and um, it's only I zoom it only for Warsaw here, and it's a private because there are a lot of mine personal um, notes <laughs> under every mula, so it's uh, helping me to find it, like um, next to the bar <laughs> called blah 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 <laughs> or something <laughs> like this. And here is an example uh, that there is mural Chopin in Warsaw. And like a restaurant, you can rate the mural, you can write a, a review about it. And like uh, I encourage you to do the same, you can add a mural if it's not on the Google Maps yet. But uh, please be careful with the categories. Uh, here is um, uh, the category is tourist attraction. And I think it works quite good with murals but please do not mark uh, murals as art gallery because during the COVID there was a situation that all art galleries were closed. So I found every mural marked as closed when the art gallery was a category. So, you know, yeah. it took a lot of time for me <laughs> to click open, 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 open again, <laughs> etc. So generally, I'm just kidding, of course, now, but um, I think that there should be a category whatever, <laughs> because sometimes I'm really trying to find the um, exact category, the right category for, let's say, mural and i'm just getting frustrated <laughs> and then i'm like whatever <laughs> yeah we did talk about that with in one of the off sessions at connect live about categories last year and um, i did bring up that people put these things on maps and they put them on maps a lot so we really do need a category for them because people obviously want it and often the maps team want particular things on maps and not other things and murals is one of the things they don't like very much but they put up with them but maybe they just need to accept them yes i many times i wanted to add something but i couldn't find the right category i i just gave up i didn't want to mark anything um, under the misleading category 
So yeah, I think tourist attractions okay. The other thing I see people use sometimes is sculpture. Scott, okay. In my case, I saw also that they market as open air museum. What is completely not relevant uh, because in Poland, open museum is like you know you've got a lot of old buildings in one place gather in one place and you are just like you know walking around and um, checking um, how people used to live uh, back in the past yeah i would think tourist attractions probably the nearest thing you're going to find at the moment yeah i i suggest you to, to use this one it works fine and <laughs> it's not closed during the COVID uh, mm -hmm. on google maps uh, of course i uh, think that the photos uh, that you add it's like obvious uh, thing to do uh, adding a uh, mural uh, on google maps but uh, also it's very helpful for me as a street art hunter if you uh, add short video sending the surroundings also around the mural because uh, it helps me a lot to find the mm, exact wall with the paintings. A week ago, I was just standing in front of the murals and I couldn't find it <laughs> because it was behind my back. <laughs> Guess what? Painting is a category now. I just had a look. Oh, oh hmm. okay. Um, I wonder if that's good. what it's for. <laughs> you know, I found a category in Polish that it was um, said, um, promotion of art and i was thinking about street art maybe this promotion of art was uh, especially designed for street art not sure i have to check <laughs> um, i will i will get on to our friendly keeper of the categories who also runs a podcast um, yes yeah I'll, I'll, I'll ask him if he knows what painting is specifically for yeah, maybe he knows the best category for street art. Hmm, maybe. Or he'll just yeah. tell me off and tell me not to put it on maps. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show you also um, the app, uh, my maps. I know, Paul, you are familiar with this one. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what about others. Uh, I. Um, and it's all Ravindu's fault. <laughs> I, started, <laughs> I started mapping street art. Uh, what is really so time consuming. So now uh, I've got a break from that. But it's also great uh, for me to have um, like a kind of gallery or um, diary <laughs> of my street art. So you can. Uh, yes. And don't you wish you could move things from lists into my maps and back into lists? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to <clears throat> make a separate my maps map here. Uh, here you've got my home city with all the murals marked. And uh, what I want you to know that uh, on the right screenshot, you can find the, um, that you can write down the um, title of the mural and more your personal notes about it. And the screenshot uh, shows you that on the left, it's a uh, view picture photo from a street view. And on the right side, it's my personal photo that add, uh, I added there. You can also do Google Earth tours if you oh. want to. And mm -hmm. they're, they're a new way to expose people to things on my maps because um, you can actually suck things in from a maps list to Google Earth and you can also suck things in from my maps. And then you can build a tour that follows along that uh, you can go to a city and then take people around the street to the city to show them stuff. Um, oh, Yulia that's just great. said, Yulia just said that um, Jan said we could use cultural landmark for uh, street art. I guess we could. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. I wonder if it's available in Australia. Yeah, I have to check if it's in Polish. <laughs> oh, there is I a like... cultural there is a cultural landmark in Australia. How about that? Hmm. I need to check this one in my uh, app. 
And like you, Paul, um, sent me once a photo walk uh, path uh, for uh, San Francisco. I did the same with my city uh, with the um, help of my maps app. And it's great. I was preparing a meetup, uh, not virtual, but uh, like personal meetup in Bielsko, but it was before COVID. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes, things happen. Yeah. yeah. The the mind maps are really handy for creating meet meetups and sharing them out because um, what always happens on a photo walk, there's sort of the golden rules of the photo walk, is you lose half the people in the first 10 minutes because they stop to take pictures or they stop for shiny things or they get some coffee and at least <laughs> they can find you again if they've got a map. Yeah, it's great. And um, you know what I like about it? When you send me the um, path like uh, here, that uh, I could uh, join you whenever I had time. So, you yep. know, if I wasn't able to join you at the beginning, I can, um, I can easily follow you um, on this map. And of course, we, we were still in touch. Julia says the category is there in Polish. Oh, OK. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next um, thing is um, that I would like to tell you how and when do I take photos of Muras. It's not that complicated. Um, on the left, the mural is quite simple. So in my opinion, one photo is completely enough to put on the maps or just to, to take uh, a photo for my personal gallery and to put it on Instagram. But the mural on the right it's my favorite one <laughs> it's, and it's huge it's huge it's 1500 square meters wow and uh, it's beautiful and colorful and uh, my beloved surrealism <laughs> style uh, so uh, this one on the right i had to um, take more photos uh, than just one and to show the details and it's not enough <laughs> you, could, you could take more and more photos for example this chameleon here yeah, it, it could be another painting <laughs> as well so i encourage you to take more uh, when it comes to when uh, if the street art the hunt is planning by me i try to figure out where the best weather is going to be but of course it's not on it, it's not only um, how to say that i can't decide every time um, when i'm going to be in the particular city uh, murals with the blue sky are much better <laughs> than with the gray sky and uh, well, they are indeed yeah, so if you are able to check the weather and to choose the day, it's great. But sometimes, like here, <laughs> the sun is my enemy. I was yes. walking around <laughs> this mural for 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> to get the best shot uh, because the, the sunlight was direct into my camera. Uh, you've, so, you've, uh, you've still managed a nice blue sky there, so well done. <laughs> yeah, but I was, yeah, it was tricky, you know, to, to get the right spot. Mm, oh, when? Uh, some murals uh, are a composition of uh, things around. Uh, like here, you can see that um, the artist uh, composed uh, the um, uh, wall with the tree so the mural uh, looks different in the winter in spring and in the summer and in autumn so that's why the uh, season is a factor here as well not only the blue sky gray sky on the on a rainy day uh, this is a um, is Polish artist, uh, Cora, she was a vocalist and she died because of the cancer. So I think that this art here is a kind of combination um, of showing also um, the, the disease uh, that uh, she died of.
because of the chem chemo she uh, lost her hair as well so yeah, yes it's, it's one of the big things about art is it helps people live on longer than themselves oh yes for sure so this is the kind of mix um, of art and nature as well like here when you want to um, focus on the art you need to check out if uh, this mural is not connected to the um, other um, how to say that this uh, for example on the right you have to um, cover on the photo also the this gutter you call it gutter the the, yep, like, the pipe. pipe yeah the pipe yep. because it's, the composition is like all together because he's a kind of swinging on it and on the left uh, you have to check the small robot as well and it's a part of some i don't know electric box in the street so just just check if it's uh, what, how the composition work uh, together and it's really cool yeah this one Mm, sometimes I just take a straight photo of the mural, but if you want to show the, um, uh, the like a kind of dimension and the how big the mural is, it's good to take a part of the surround surroundings or the um, side of the building, so it's uh, easier to um, imagine how big is it. Human factor, sometimes it's a nice element. The same, to show how big the painting is and to like to show the street life, like that it's not a ghost town, but there is uh, something going on on the street. This one is particularly uh, great, uh, in my opinion, for selfies, like... Uh, <laughs> Like Paul <laughs> showed uh, during um, his photo walk in San Jose, but I couldn't uh, be there. And it's a nice uh, souvenir, in my opinion, to have a photo uh, in front of this uh, garage. In this case, like greetings from San Jose. I don't have a really nice photo here, so that's why I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> And last thing that I wanted to show you, it's a 3D um, street art, like this guy who was uh, on Instagram, his profile. Two um, types of 3D uh, street art. This is like 3D and you have the impression that you can go inside the building, like through the wall almost. And uh, something that is quite new for me, and I shared with Paul it uh, lately, that there is uh, three art murals as well, but to get the effect, you have to wear 3D glasses. So it's completely fine to take photo of the mural, but if you'd like to um, have more fun, you should take 3D glasses with uh, you as well. I think it's it's pretty cool. I know that there is one mural in Poland uh, by this guy, Au, Aui Art, Ave Art. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure how to pronounce his um, name. And I need to go to, to that place to check it. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, and sometimes the street art hunt uh, looks like this. <laughs> so I was a little bit too late to get the mural I was uh, searching for and a little bit too early to get a new one. But like you all know, the street art is just temporary art and it changes. So uh, often. So often. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, thank there's, you. That's there's, a particular lane, there's a particular laneway in Melbourne. So Melbourne's well known for street art. It's like your city. Um, and there's a particular laneway called Hosier Lane, which if you look at something and you walk up to the other end of the laneway, maybe 250 metres away and walk back, sometimes some of the stuff you looked at five minutes before is now gone and it's got new art there. 
Um, yeah, sometimes uh, it's sad. Sometimes it's great because you can find something better <laughs> in the yeah. same place. Thanks. That's my. No worries. <laughs> well, thank you very much for doing that, Anya. That was awesome. Thank you. If you have any questions, of course. Just. And just sort of a really interesting thing. I thought this is an interesting bug in um, either it's either a bug in Chrome or it's a bug in Google Meet. Um, while you were presenting, everything on my screen was in Polish. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All my prompts and everything changed to Polish. But it's a good thing I know where they are. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah, so I know you can't see the chat. Lots of people are, are saying thank you and they're really impressed with your things. I'm just looking through to see if there's any questions about the street art. And it, I can't see any actual questions, but lots of people really enjoyed your presentation. So that's really cool. Thank so, you very much. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. And as someone just said, you've got a mural of your own. There you go. <laughs> In your slide. So if you want to uh, connect up with Anya, there's her connect name. And there's, there's two Instagram accounts there. The one on the left is Anya's personal account. And the one on the right is a new one for Street Art Heaven, which is only got street art. <laughs>